The world of competitive Fortnite is full of talented players who have risen to the top through hard work and dedication. They have managed to set themselves apart from the rest of the competition and even get themselves involved with different organizations that sign them on to play professionally. Really, it's a dream come true. However, for many pros, that dream doesn't start in their 20s. Sometimes it starts when they're only teenagers and still in school. What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, back again to bring you the latest and greatest tips to help you become a better Fortnite player. Today, we have a very special lesson for all you future pro players out there, and it's an important one. That is, how to manage your schoolwork so you still have time to become an absolute god at Fortnite. So, if you're still in school and want to know how to continue working towards that goal of becoming a competitive player, you've come to the right place. So get ready, because class is in session. There are many different types of Fortnite players out there. You have your casual players, who don't really have any obligations since they just play for fun. You have your content creators and streamers, who gather a following by showing off their skills and giving out tips to other players. They also keep the community updated with any new changes to the game. Finally, you have your Fortnite Pro. This is someone that wants to perfect their skills so they can present themselves as a worthy challenger with a shot at making a career out of it. The first thing you need to figure out before you try managing your school life and your life as a pro gamer is, which of these are you? If you are only interested in content creating, then you need to be able to keep up with the changing meta as well as working on your showmanship on the side. Content creators benefit from a clear and concise voice. If you plan on going pro, then you need to start off by building your skills. You also need to be open to having a Twitch account as well as a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel is a great place to compile your best plays and makes for a good pro portfolio. Luckily, since you aren't focusing on content creating, you don't really need to be actively making a video going over every new aspect of the latest update. What you want to focus on mostly as a pro is finding the time to practice your mechanics, game sense and tackling those competitions whenever they come around. Hey, do you feel like you can't get better at Fortnite no matter what you try and do? Well, don't worry. It's something that even the best pros go through from time to time. But do you know what the pros have that you don't? A pro coach, teaching them every trick in the book to break them free from their stagnation. Our coaches are available 24-7 and can teach you to break through your barriers to become the best Fortnite player that you can be. All you need to do is visit the link in the description below today. To optimize your schoolwork, you first need to understand your schedule for the day. Let's say that you go to school from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You also need to factor in how long homework will last, as well as any extracurricular activities that you might be participating in. Really, your strategy for this isn't as different from the games. It's all about optimizing the things you do so you can make the most out of your time. Think strategically. For example, say you have a good 45 minutes to an hour of lunch. This can be a perfect opportunity to start working on those homework assignments. Some schools nowadays have a homeroom period as well. This is another good time that you can spend going over the lessons and assignments. The more you get done during these downtimes, the more time you'll have to practice your Fortnite skills later. Now, we're a pro gaming channel, so our tips and tricks usually revolve playing around in-game mechanics. However, if you plan on juggling competitive play with schoolwork, you're going to need to become a better student as well. The key to do this is paying attention in class and taking notes. This might not seem like the typical advice on how to get good at a video game. However, note taking and keeping track of information is a vital skill you'll be using later once you start VOD reviewing. When you VOD review, you're going to have to sit down in front of a replay of your games. During that time, you'll be expected to take notes and sit there for as long as it takes for you to identify your shortcomings. This takes patience, but also the ability to identify what information is going to be the most helpful for you. By paying attention in class, you're actually able to train that attention span and figure out what information you'll need for the next exam. If you train yourself to be a good listener, then you'll retain that information much easier when you hear about it again. Note taking also helps with retention since your brain focuses on writing down the important parts of a lesson. If you've got good notes, then studying for what will come up during an exam will be much easier since you don't have to go over the entire lesson from scratch. If you're planning on playing on a professional level, then you need to be aware of when the tournaments are coming up. 
This is the perfect opportunity to go and get a dry erase board or a calendar. Write down the dates of all the important tournaments that you can attend and make it your mission to have your schedule clear for that day. Keep in mind that missing one tournament won't kill you, but having consistency is important for getting that experience. During this time, you also want to make sure to mark down any exams you might have for school. This way, you can set a schedule that will cover all your needs for the week. Knowing how to set a schedule and managing multiple different factors at once is a great trait for any professional gamer. If you ever end up leading a trio or being part of a duo, you are going to have to coordinate with other players if you want to train together. This could even mean managing different time zones or lifestyles. So, being good at keeping track of important times and dates is absolutely essential. You always hear about the grind. Players grind arena and come out with thousands of arena points. Or they have training sessions that last hours upon hours. This is pretty impressive, but you mustn't lose sleep in an attempt to keep up with the pros. Staying up all night will only damage your skill level and your ability to manage your schoolwork. If your lack of sleep is making you doze off in class, then you're not going to be able to retain the information you need to do well in school. If your grades do start declining, it would be unwise to continue focusing on Fortnite. So, know when to call it a day and get some sleep. You'll need the energy later. Since time is limited in a school or gaming situation, you're going to need to find a way to make the most out of your time you spend playing Fortnite. If you are fresh to Fortnite, then the first thing you should do is get a feel for the game before moving on to training your mechanics. Play as much as you can to develop your game sense and learn your basic builds. Once you are comfortable playing the game, you can focus on improving more specific skill sets. Dedicate certain days to only training your mechanics. Once again, creative is going to be your best friend. Don't try to do too much at once because with the limited time, you won't get accustomed to what you're trying to learn. Focus on one skill at a time. Spend a few days only training your aim, then change it up and spend a few days training your edits. Once you've mastered that, move on to more complex skills like peace control, box fighting and build battling. If you are already pretty good at Fortnite but want to improve while in school, then VOD reviews really will be your best friend. Here you can identify where you tend to falter the most, as well as what you need to improve if you want to get even better at the game. Once you've identified those flaws, you can dedicate the time you have when you get home to improving those skills specifically. You may not be grinding for hours like other players, however, you will still see vast improvements since you're focusing on those vital areas. One thing you should do, whether you're in high school or in college, is check to see if your school offers an esports club. With esports gaining more and more popularity, some schools have actually implemented these into their roster of extracurricular activities. This can be a good way to meet other players around your age who are interested in becoming pro gamers and are also managing school. Making these connections is important, since it will give you someone else to work with who isn't in a different time zone. Some schools even do LAN competitions with other schools. This is more common with colleges, however. It can be a nice change of pace that will give you a small taste of the attitude of competitive gaming. If your school doesn't have a program, then you will still have plenty of real online tournaments to take advantage of. Parents are also a huge factor on what you're allowed to do and what you aren't allowed to do. For this, you want to make sure you keep their expectations satisfied. If you have a habit of getting low grades, then your parents might not find it healthy that you're spending so much time playing video games. This is why it's actually important to prioritize your schoolwork over Fortnite. You don't always need to get straight A's. You can also get some B's, but try not to fall below that. It is also important to spend some time out of your room rather than indoors in front of a computer screen all day. Not only is this good for your mental health while growing up, but it shows that you aren't a shut-in that needs intervention. Some pros, such as Benji Fishy, are lucky to have supportive family members that are willing to lend a hand on their journey. However, you shouldn't expect this to be the case for every single person trying to go competitive. The reason this works out for someone like Benji Fishy is because he showed that his pro gaming career could make him money. In reality, that's the name of the game called life. Your parents know it, and they want to make sure that you will be able to support yourself in the future. If your pro gaming career takes off, then good for you. You're getting the results you've worked so hard to achieve. However, even if your career does take off, take a second to really consider staying in school. It is definitely beneficial for you as a growing person. It also offers a unique experience that you will only ever get once in your life. That's all for today, Fortnite fam. 
Did you enjoy today's video? If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date on all our latest and greatest tips. Also, feel free to check out the rest of our channel for even more of that good Fortnite content. So, until next time, this is Matt, telling you all to stay in school.